Cut. You are now tuned into the underground. My name is Mbaya. I go by the doctor. What I have for you today is the high taper. I will be doing a cleanup on my guy. He's usually in about every week, really. He likes to keep it really fresh. And I'm going to show you my new gamma hitters that I just adjusted in my last video. If you didn't check that out, you need to go and tap in on that. See how to adjust your gamma hitter within 10 minutes. Trust me, it's really quick and simple. Very straightforward. So I'm just gonna prep this line up real quick. We're gonna jump right into this haircut. It's not too much that I need to do here. I don't have to reshape anything. I just have to pretty much do what I did the week before. We're just gonna go ahead and comb out everything, make sure it's all pulled out, make sure everything's even, nothing's flawed. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Stylecraft Rebels. These are my go-tos nowadays, of course. So I'm going to close the lever all the way using my number one and just go with the grain. Now, the reason for why I do this is just to prep the hair, mold it in, make sure everything's nice and laid out. I'm just pretty much cleaning up at this point. The same process that I am doing is the same that you would do any other given time if you were just starting out somebody's taper. A lot of the people nowadays are rocking the tapered out hairline in the front all the way around the sides, the back of the neck, in the nape area. It's really fresh. This is of course prepping for braids, locks, whatsoever, you name it. I like it, it's a really fresh look. I'm not so sure if I can pull it off, but this is the reason why I rock the wave cut. But anyway, I'm not gonna get too deep about me. This is about my guy here. He came in and told me, yo, you gotta get me fresh. This is the one that has to be the best you've ever done. I got banquet tonight, let's get it. So I made sure that I blessed my guy and this is how this went. So as you can see, I have switched up the way that I'm cutting the hair now. I'm using the number one guard still, but I just opened the lever all the way open and I'm just pretty much going at the hair against the grain now. This is really just easing into the hair. You don't want to rush this process at all because you want to make sure when it comes to prepping for the taper as well as the lineup, everything's ready to go. So that way when you lay in that lineup on the taper, everything is flawless victory. You don't want to miss not one hit at this. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. When it comes to that lineup, it is everything. And as I always say, quote, the lineup is one of the most important parts of the haircut, end quote. We're talking if it was a bad blend on the haircut, it will probably save that bad job. Maybe, possibly. Don't take my word for that because I am not advocating for bad blends, bad haircuts. I'm just saying I've seen it done before. Lineup style haircuts will get saved by the lineup if it is a bad blend. Just saying. But anyway, you want to follow through every step. Don't ever, ever rush through any process. Make sure that everything that you're doing counts. Follow the necessary steps to achieve the full look that you want to achieve. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this taper. So I'm going to grab my gamma hitter, which I did just adjust. And I'm going to go straight at it. I'm going to create a harsh line, which I don't really recommend, but I do this just to gauge where I place my guideline has to make sense to the style taper that I'm going to do. As for those of you who follow me on IG as well as TikTok, you are very familiar with this video that I posted about two months ago, which was demonstrating how to set in the guidelines for a low taper, mid taper, as well as a high taper. So in this case, it is a high taper. And if you are not familiar with the setting in of the guidelines with the high taper, you have to use the lower point of your vertical bar, not the top corner, but the lower point of your vertical bar. And I'm going to go ahead and go on with my absolute alpha and open the lever 
all the way, not to the last click, but the second click. And set in that second guideline. Right after I'm done with this guideline, I'm going to close my lever all the way and zero out that guideline I just created. Next, I'm going to move on to my number one guard, which I did use with the grain closed and all the way open against the grain. So this time around, I'm going to use a second click. I'm going to create an invisible guideline using the same system that I just used before with no guard, opening and closing. Closing and opening. So you work your way up as you create the guideline and work your way back down to blend it out. So as you work up, you open. As you go down to remove the guideline, you close. You gotta repeat the same steps at each different click. Also, real quick, just before I get carried away, I just switched over to the zero guard. So you open, you close. You open, you close until you achieve the blend. So as we work towards the blend, remember that technique. I use this all the time for all my blends. But if you have to improvise due to the person's hair texture being different, please do so. Everyone's hair texture, of course, will react different depending on if you're using a taper or fade blade. Make sure you are treating the zero guard the same as every other. It's not guard. magical, it still has to be manipulated. It's not that special, but it is a very important guard. With patience, when used correctly, it does slowly erase each guideline that has been created when you use it last. And start easing out that line, as you can see. Next step, now that I am completed with my zero guard, I'm going to lose that and use my clipper with no guard all the way open and start removing that last guideline. So pretty much the same thing here. You open all the way, and slowly start to close the clipper, slowly easing into that guideline, removing it. You are not rushing. Don't ever try to speed up the process if you want to achieve a blurry blend. Make sure you follow the proper necessary steps. Slowly move that lever and erase the guideline. And real quick, I just want to thank you all for watching this far into the video. Stay tuned for more. Please subscribe to this channel. Follow me on my different platforms, TikTok, IG, Facebook. I post content daily. If you don't have me on any of that, go get me now. Get on that ASAP. And just to digress back onto the main topic here with the haircut, what I want to say to everybody is, don't ever forget to improvise. Be sure to have a limitless amount of tools in your arsenal. So as you can see, I just switched my clipper from the Absolute Alpha to the Rebel. So the Rebel is pretty much going to finish the blend all the way, polish it up, smooth out everything that the Alpha missed. What's crazy interesting about the hair texture and how it flows is always going to be different from the left to the now, right. Mind you, this will vary for each client depending on if they have coarse, medium, or fine hair. So the right side definitely grows a little bit funny on my man's. You will notice it on the left side. Now, some people will say, no, that's just because you suck. You're not able to get it. Don't ever fall for that. The real truth about the anatomy of hair if you did go to school, they told you that everybody's hair is going to be different. The hair on the left side of the head is going to be different from the right to the top, as well as the back and the nape area, the crown, by the occipital bone, the sides, all of that stuff is going to grow different. Anyway, let me not drift off too far into other stuff, but as you see, I've established my guideline with the trimmer. I'm going to go ahead and open my clipper lever on the second click and create my second guideline, making sure that everything on the left side is symmetrical, the best it can be with the right side. 
Do not skip any steps. Make sure that everything you do is the same as you execute it on the other side. So I just close my lever all the way, zero that bottom guy line out. I'm gonna go ahead and slap on my number one guard with the clipper lever open on the second click and closing it immediately right after, working that invisible guideline out. Follow the steps, trust the process, do not skip anything. I know some people may be watching this and thinking, why not just do this? Why not just do that? No, 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 no. If you want blurry blends, follow the necessary steps. Do this with each guard. Move on to the next one and do the same repetitive steps. Don't skip anything. Do that with the one guard. And of course, I switched over to the zero guard. Open, close. Open, close. this blend I just wanted to mention to those of you who missed it the first time I did mention that the left is going to be a bit different from the right side's blend this is due to the hair texture and the way each individual's hair flows it is going to be different it's almost impossible to match up the left and the right side it's kind of like when it comes down to the lineup you may have one side that's more rounded and the other side is more straight. Don't let this discourage you. Do the best that you can for each side of the head and move on. Don't try too hard unless you just feel as if you can do better, then go for it. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the back and do this taper in the nape area. The same step that you took to achieve the blends on the left and the right side you will do for the nape area so you start off with your trimmer create your first guideline and you grab your clipper and create your second guideline with the clipper lever all the way open on the second click i'm going to repeat these same steps with the number one guard following up with the zero guard then i'm going to move back over to no guard and use the same technique, which is open, close, open, close. This is going to be very repetitive, but worth it. The more you practice it, the better you will get. And as I said this before in my last tutorial video, breaking down the tapered fade, I told you, pay attention to the way that I use my adjusting with the lever. It is very simple very straightforward all you're doing the whole time is opening and closing connecting each guideline to the next going through each clipper comb attachment or guard connecting everything it's very simple and straightforward A lot of you watching have been wondering if I'm ever going to mention or talk about the gamma hitter that I have been using to create the first guidelines throughout this video. Well, that's a new gamma hitter that I just recently got in. I did adjust them in my last video post. For those of you who didn't see it, go and check that out. The video runs just a little bit over 10 minutes. It is breaking down how to gap your gamma hitter it's very straightforward very easy to do it will not take forever trust me we will appreciate it for those of you who would like to have your trimmer hitting on point every time you touch the hair these things are beasts 
I've been using the Gamma Hitta for a year now. Since last year, I picked them up, let's say April or May. And these two pairs that I just recently got in from Stylecraft as well as Gamma were gifts. I really appreciate the Hitta and how they perform. These are my go-tos. They definitely are very easy to use, ergonomically friendly in the hand. It's all about those corners. You can keep that blade flat if you want to, but trust me, it's all about the corners. That's all you need to use to make sure that these things do the job. Just take it easy. Don't apply pressure. Just let the blade do its job. By the way, this is needless to say, very obvious, but no airbrush, fibers, or holding spray was used in this video. Just a straight, raw, organic haircut. But don't get it twisted. I'm not against the enhancement. I really just don't post them, which I should, because it's great promo when it comes to my premium packages that I offer to those of you who are watching and are in the Midwest area, I'm always accepting new clients. I'm available, I'm very punctual. All you need to do is a consultation. You can book your haircut appointment with the consultation, no problem. I just need you all to remember I do offer premium service. Don't get that twisted at all. Definitely far from my enhancements hater. So all the power to the natural barbers as well as the color barbers. I just am not a huge fan of the enhancements, but I will do it if the price is right. You dig? Just a quick FYI, if you don't know this, starting in the middle to execute the front lineup, is the best thing you can ever do for yourself. Then work your way out into the vertical bars, keeping everything symmetrical. This technique usually works on most people, but in some cases, this may not go according, so you have to improvise. You may deal with some people that have abnormalities with their head shape. Some people will have dips. Some people will have sphere or circle shaped lineups everybody is not going to be straight across like my guy everyone's here. not blessed with the straightaway some people have the mcdonald's the shoe horse it is what so it starting is starting in the middle just may not cut it for everybody like for example my guy here does have short vertical bars which you have to be very careful with you're not really able to tell because of the way i manipulate the hair and i intentionally kind of keep a certain amount of hair a shadow and kind of like a overhang on the front Part of the lineup in order for it to look as if it's been enhanced i kept it dark intentionally which it works out pretty well especially in his case because he comes in week and, and sometimes he may come in bi-weekly so we're really just touching up most of the time when we're working on him so keep a nice amount of hair to manipulate the lineup and as you can see this looks enhanced as if i've applied fibers or some sort of airbrush but this is all natural, no tricks, no gimmicks whatsoever. And these things are beasting right Yo, now. I'm talking about straight daggers. You know what I'm saying? You see them? I know you see that. Of course, after finishing up with the Gamma Hitta, I'm going to follow up with a razor. Right after I get his mustache which is coming in i know everybody we all go through this when we first get those few little whiskers we want that thing lined up and that's exactly what i did for my guy i hit the razor on top of that right after brought it out a little bit more the best that i could i'm gonna go ahead and get the vertical bars first then i will follow up with the top of the lineup and get the whole complete final look finished up this is it if you found this video helpful please leave a comment share this video if you know anybody that may find this informative please send them this video 
I also hope that you stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, follow me on all my different platforms. I do have TikTok, IG, as well as Facebook. So tune in on that. I post daily. But the last thing that I will do, I usually do this before I apply the razor. I'm going to go ahead and follow up with the hitter through the lineup, just making sure everything is completely finished out and definitely give more of an enhanced three-dimensional look of the lineup. Trust me, when it comes to this lineup, when I say this is what I do, this is my favorite part of the haircut, I definitely follow through. And uh, before I let him walk out, of course, I'm going to hit the foil just to finish out that blend. I'm going to make sure that we have that transition going. So get both sides. And I'm also going to show you a zoomed out look of how both sides look. Due to how different the hair flows and how it grows, which is something that you can't really help you can do something about it but it just won't look right and this is the best that it's gonna get so i know some people may be in the comment section saying oh man now that looks off it's not balanced well guess what i can't really help it. just to quickly bring you back down to reality this is what you call a natural haircut accept it for what it is and i've posted multiple videos on ig where i've broken down the way his hair grows is definitely a little bit of a challenge i don't know if you paid attention to the back taper and he has a bunch of swirls and collars going on which is really crazy um but i did the best that i could yeah but that's that's it y'all for the tools that were used in this video hit the link in the description below if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel yet you need to do so asap like right now Follow me on all my different platforms. I have Facebook, IG, as well as TikTok. Stay tuned. I post content daily.